Hello everybody, my name is Vasilis and I'm the developer of the Art Topography application. Today with this tutorial I would like to show how to manually add points to the application. And for that I'm going to use this drawing here, which as you can see could be the blueprint of a house. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to measure the length of each segment. And the second thing is that we need to measure the magnitude of the angle of each corner, as I have already done here. Now, before we go to the application, there is one last step. We need to number these points. It doesn't really matter which corner, which point is the first point. But the most important thing that we need to keep in mind is that we need to number this point in a clockwise or in a counterclockwise direction. Here I set this corner here to be the first point and I number, I number this point in a clockwise direction. So let's go to the application. <clears throat> first we go to the settings tab and we disable the GPS device. Now we we'll go back to the points tab and we we'll click on the add points button to add the first point. It says here in blue color that this is a dummy point and it says that to emphasize that it doesn't really matter which point is the first point. <clears throat> now we're going to add the second point. So we we'll click on this button, add points, and we, and we need to fill out this form here. Now, remember that in the topography application, we don't, give, we don't give the coordinates of each point, but we give the distance, we give the position of each point with respect to the previous point. So, the second point we know that is one meter away from the first point, the angle here is 90 degrees. And also we know that as we walk from the sixth point towards the first point, we see that the second point is on the right. So we go here, we select for position right, the length is one and the angle is 90 degrees. We are done. Now we're going to add the third point. Again, the third point is positioned on the right of the second point, so here is right. The length is again one, and the angle is 120 degrees. Similarly, the fourth point is positioned on the right of the third point. The length is 0 0.5, and the angle is 60 degrees. The fifth point is a little tricky because the fifth point is positioned on the left. Again, imagine that you are at the third point and you are working towards the fourth point. Therefore, you see that the fifth point is on your left. The length is one and the angle is 90 degrees. Finally, the sixth point is on the right of the fifth point. The length is one and the angle is 90 degrees. Now, we are here. We don't need to give again the first point because eye topography knows that the sixth point will be connected to the first point so that we have a closed surface. Now we go to the, to the second tab, which is the map, and here we see the drawing. Uh, because I'm running on the simulator, I cannot rotate this map. But if you do rotate it, you'll see that this image here is a mirror image of this one. Unfortunately, this is a bug, which I'm going to fix it in the next version. <clears throat> the area is 2.08 square meters, and this is the perimeter. If you click on this button here, you get, you get the coordinates of the points, the distances, and here you see that the length between 
these two points is 1.87 where well, I should be 1.86 of course the difference here is due to a round of errors to, due to uh, <coughs> yeah due to a round of errors and here you see the angles of each uh, vertex or corner now <coughs> let's go again to, to our map and let's suppose that we are interested in the area of this triangle. I topography has a really nice feature. By clicking on this button and then by selecting the points that define this triangle, we have here in, in purple color uh, the triangle of interest and here we, we read the area of this triangle. Now if we're going to redo the calculations, we double click on the button and then we select again these points. So we have this triangle here. The important thing here is that we need to select the points in a clock or in a counter clockwise direction. And as we add more points, the area is updated on the fly. With that, I would like to conclude my tutorial. I hope you found it useful and I'm looking forward to your recommendations or suggestions. Thank you very much. Bye bye.